So I'm having an alpha mat issue in Premiere. I have a video here that I've applied a track mat key to in the effects controls, and I have a shape that I want to make the alpha. So I have it selected as uh, the, the uh, mat, right? So video three, and I've got it as mat alpha. And as you can see, there's some white around the edges and that's not what I want. So if I just delete that and redraw it, you can really see what's happening. It's being cut off. Um, there's like a big space between where I want the mat to be and where the video is. So I need to fix that because what I want is to create rounded corners. I don't want a big gap. I just want a little rounding. So I need to figure out the problem. And I, I actually did. So what you have to do is fix the scaling. The scaling right now is throwing everything off. I've scaled down this video to 77.8 and it needs to be at 100% to get that alpha mat to match up correctly. So in order to do that, I first need to have my video selected, right click and go to make subsequence. Now, once I do that, I see that I've got my subsequence here. I'm going to double click it and open it up. And I'm going to have to change the sizing because right now it's got the exact same sizing that it had where it's scaled down to 77%. So we're going to make it 100. And you'll notice that it is now too large for the, um, the, the size of our screen. So we need to change that as well, our aspect ratio. So if with your... Um, Scenes, uh, your uh, video selected in your timeline, go to sequence, sequence settings, and change to the size of the video itself. If you don't know the size of the video, right click on it and go down to properties. And then you can see the image size right there. So it's 1920 by 1440. So then I go to sequence, sequence settings, 1920 by 1440. And that's good. And now you'll see it's much better, but it's not perfectly fitting in just yet. And that's because I moved the position a little bit. So I need to fix that. And you can just adjust that back to the reset by clicking this little arrow circle at the side. So now it's centered and perfect. Now we can apply that alpha mat. So I have my rectangle tool selected. I'm gonna just pop it in. Perfect, about the size I want. And then I'm gonna round out those corners just like I wanted. I just wanted to round them out a little to make it look like an iPad. And then I'll make that shape the same length as my video. Oops. Then I'll go back to my nested sequence. I can delete my video that I have and bring in the new nested sequence here. And now all I have to do is scale it back down so that it uh, fits over the background. So I think I had it at like 77 point, maybe it was 0.8, but I'll just do it at 0.5. Okay, pretty close. Um, I can grab it and move it into place. Maybe scale it up just a touch since I cut into it a little. So let's make it 79. Perfect. All right. So now the alpha mat has been applied the way it should be and everything is in order. So um, I hope that this helped you guys if you were having the same issue. I couldn't figure it out for so long and it was so annoying. So thank you and I'll see you in my next video.